So after three years of trying to be something that I wasn't, um, I turned to my mom and said, and by the way, I was raised, um, my dad passed when I was four, uh, 16, he fell sick when I was 14. So my mom is my best friend um, and sh she's, um, she's very cool actually. So I said to her, Shaz, like honestly, I can't do this anymore. Um, I'll work out a way to make you proud one day, hopefully. Um, but I, I, can't, I can't do this. And she's like, she's the type of woman that's like, I know you will, just go do your thing, right? And so I moved from Sydney to Melbourne to be with Sim. We were in a long distance relationship. I bought this little one here who actually is still with us today. Um, her name is Subi and I bought her for Sim as a gift and we lived in a one bedroom apartment. So Subi needing to go to the toilet at the most inconvenience of times, Sim said, Tobes, we just need a patch of backyard on our balcony. And that was the light bulb that just either went on or off, depending on which way you look at it, in my head. And for the next 10 years, I literally had an out of body experience for 10 years. I'm not trained, I'm ed not educated in how to grow businesses or start a business or accounting, finance, branding, marketing. Uh, leading a sales team or anything like that. The out-of-body experience for me was, I'm just gonna throw myself off the cliff and do this thing. So I developed Petlu, um, which went on to win Australian Pet Product of the Year. We went on a TV show called The New Inventors. That New Inventors, I then opened up my inbox the next day, had 500 purchase orders from consumers that had watched the show saying, I need this product. Um, and over 10 years, I grew that business from a $20,000 loan from my girlfriend's father <laughs> into just shy of $10 million in top line revenue. Um, sold in 164 countries. And I started this from my spare bedroom in Elwood, Victoria. I had no investors. I had no debt. Um, I was cash flow positive and they bought my business for all cash. Fast forward to today, well, from 2017, I came back to Australia after just shy of nine years in the US. Um, and I started a company called Neon Life here based on my experiences in the US. So uh, Neon Life is a parent co that owns a bunch of brands. And I'm gonna take you through some of those brands today. Um, Creative Cubes is probably our biggest brand, um, which is a co-working space. Um, last week we announced that we've got building three under construction. Uh, in South Melbourne. What I failed to kind of articulate in the earlier part of the presentation is, I feel like I'm a minority, I feel like I'm an outcast, but my building is full of them. So people that just want to do good and have cool ideas and do good things, all the way from a startup that MYOB has underpinned and paid for, all the way up to Uber Eats, KFC, Menu Log. Mic Drop is our events division. So inside of Creative Cubes, much like this, we have an event space. Um, we bring professional athletes, CEOs, big people uh, that have got big reputations in to speak to the community. Rebel Monk is my wellness brand, um, which is a yoga and mindfulness business. So we're not only guiding people going, are you stressed? Okay, well, there's a yoga studio over here. Go take an hour to just kind of chill, right? And then you are what you eat, whether you like it or not. And I do okay, but not great. Um, but Timber and Greens is a cafe that sits within our four walls. And all of this happens inside of Creative Cubes. I'm also an investor and part owner of Orange Theory. I don't know if any of you have heard of Orange Theory. Um, it's the fastest growing franchise. Forget about like fitness category or whatever. Fastest growing franchise, it, it smashes McDonald's or smashed McDonald's in its peak. Um, this is my work. At the center of what I do personally is I have an unwavering focus on the people. So all of this stuff that I've developed is not about me, it's about you and others beyond this room, right? And I want people to win. I want to help take people to the next level. Um, very few people believed in me. And what I've created with, with these brands and these experiences is something that I craved as a solo entrepreneur and a small business all the way up into a big business that I had around me in terms of a support mechanism. Um, and that's what drives me today to create.